Well, this weekend is the kickoff to the unofficial holiday in Minnesota, the fishing opener. In the Brainerd Lakes area, it also represents the start of long lines, crowds and traffic, better known as tourist season. As Sarah Winkleman has more. You might have to wait a little longer in line or you might have to wait to get into one of your favorite restaurants. But that's all the sound of tourism and it's the sound of economic development. It's officially tourist season in the Brainerd Lakes thanks to visitors that come for the fishing opener. In our business, you know, it's an important weekend um, because we have a long extended winter like we've seen this last year. And so it's nice to have, you know, busy times like this and hopefully um, we'll see a spike in business and that just helps throughout the whole year. Just as local bait shops will see a jump in revenue. Thank you for stopping Many local restaurants are also excited for the anglers to get into town. This is when we start paying off the winter bills. <laughs> the build up all winter. As the unofficial kickoff to summer has finally arrived. It's wonderful to get things started and start seeing boats at the dock and people on the patio here. Opening weekend is a time the local business community is hoping to make a good impression on the out-of-town guests. So it's a huge opportunity for the Brainerd Lakes area to attract new people and really shine uh, when it comes to fishing. Local fishing guides are also preparing for their season of work, but for some, this weekend is all about family first. This is going to be something I'm going to just do from here on out with my boys. And so two years ago, I started fishing with my boys, and I look forward to that probably more than anything. Making local businesses the first stop on the road to new memories. The love of fishing that you see in people that come through the door and the excitement, especially when they bring kids with them, it's pretty cool to see and time to celebrate after a long winter. We just wait to get on the boat and sick of the ice on the lake and now it's time to, to get out on the open water. No matter what your traditions are on this opening weekend, they are sure to make a big splash in the Brainerd economy. Reporting in Nisswa, Sarah Winkleman, Lakeland News. And our team coverage continues with Josh Peterson in Bemidji. Thank you, Sarah. Here in Bemidji, DNR and City of Bemidji Parks and Recreation crew members have been working round the clock to make sure Lake Bemidji is accessible for the big opening weekend. Once Lake Bemidji officially declared ice out on Tuesday, it's been a race against the clock to fix ramps, place docks, and prep the parks for the big fishing opener. With multiple locations to prepare, city staff prioritized to make sure key locations were set. The ice went off the lake on Tuesday and we were able to get uh, six of our seven docks in with the exception of the what we call the third street dock uh, down in Paul Bunyan Park. But the late ice out dealt another blow to park staff by damaging the concrete ramp at the Nymore boat access, leaving only one ramp open at that location. With the short window we had, we had one day to try to get, the, get all of the maintenance work done there. And the wind wasn't really cooperating with the contractor, so he did the best he could, but unfortunately we'll have to close that, that, uh, the south ramp at that access. While the water crashes against the docks at the city boat landing, it's a different story for the landings overseen by the Minnesota Department of Natural Resources. People should be aware that uh, the folks that take care of the landings haven't had the time to prepare landings, get the docks in and stuff that you would usually have. Here at the Lake Bemidji Northwoods public boat landing, the docks still sit here along the Lake Bemidji shoreline, but that's not discouraging boaters from still using the access. Across from the landing, traffic at Northwoods Bait and Tackle has been steady, despite the dock not being in place across the street. You know, I'm not expecting too much of an impact to uh, the amount of boats that have been going out here the last few days already. Uh, for everything from the resort to people dropping off new docks for people, uh, dock companies, so they've been using the access just fine. Yet the late ice out has caused another issue. Bait shops across the state are dealing with a shortage of bait. At Destination Sports, they say the fishing opener is a chance for anglers to get creative with their fishing tactics. Yeah, you know, it's going to be very similar to the way they've fished in the past. Um, it's just learning to change and adapt a little bit to what's available. With an interesting dynamic in place, the 2018 fishing opener should be one that many will never forget. In Bemidji, Josh Peterson, Lakeland News. Anglers that choose to use an access that currently does not have a dock in place are asked to use caution when launching your boat. And coming up in sports, A.J. Feldman will have details on where to find the fish. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.